hey welcome back guys uh, from this video i am going to create a series on how to apply for erasmus mondas and they uh, starting from this video and uh, for every step i will tell you i'll make a separate video for you so that uh, you will have a thorough guide to how to apply on erasmus mondas programs before that i have prepared a slide for uh, some basic idea about what is Erasmus Mondas and everything so let's jump into, into it and uh, another thing is from uh, this video onwards I'll try to create videos on the English language uh, so that I think it's it's a uh, since it is an international uh, program uh, you at least will understand my uh, this uh, level of English and it will also uh, I believe this will also help me improve my English as well so uh, if i make any mistakes i hope you will uh, also give me uh, forgive me <laughs> for that yeah so yeah in this uh, uh, first uh, uh, in this uh, slide we will uh, discuss about uh, what is uh, erasmus mondas and we will have the introduction to the erasmus mondas how erasmus mondas uh, or erasmus program uh, uh, grows over the time uh, history of the erasmus mondas then why you you should apply for the erasmus mondas we will look for that why and then we will uh, focus on the steps and for every steps i am uh, showing you here i will make a separate video on each so that you will have a full guide on every steps okay so what is erasmus mondas so erasmus mondas uh, is the program uh, under the uh, european union so which are originally established by the european uh, european union in 1987 uh, the basic uh, objective of the program is to promote closer cooperation between universities and higher educational institutions among uh, across the Europe. Uh, initially, it was created uh, to um, promote and to uh, increase the collaboration and cooperation between the universities in the inside the Europe. Uh, the name for, for the Erasmus program was uh, taken by the Erasmus, one of the uh, Erasmus of Rotterdam, uh, a leading scholar and aspiring lecturer uh, during the re uh, Renaissance period uh, who traveled extensively in Europe to teach and study at a number of universities. I will drop a link uh, into the description that, um, uh, that will uh, demonstrate the uh, brief on how uh, it all started and who is Erasmus of Rotterdam as well. But uh, uh, this also works for the acronym for European Community Action Scheme for Mobility of University Students uh, uh, known as Erasmus. So uh, if we see a timeline of the Erasmus program and how it grows over the time. So initially uh, it was started in 1987 and 1994. Uh, in the in the two two time parallelly, uh, uh, the name of the program they gave at that time was uh, the uh, uh, program Erasmus, and it was mainly focused for the education. After that, in 1995 to 2006, uh, another program, similar program, which focuses on education and training, uh, was uh, named as a Socrates program Socrates. And then uh, another program from 2007 to 2013, they gave the name is Lifelong uh, Learning Program and it has the uh, focus on education and training. But over the period, uh, Erasmus program was so uh, popular and so uh, impact uh, all, uh, than the other programs. So uh, they, they, they uh, extended the Erasmus. Uh, this Erasmus program they extended and uh, uh, extended not only from education but including training youth and sport along with so uh, they renamed it as a plus uh, so they, they included this plus uh, and it uh, runs in two parallel ways like uh, uh, the first phase of Erasmus uh, plus uh, Erasmus Mondas program will run through 2014 to 2020 and then uh, now it is currently running on the second phase and 2021 to 2027 the program funding is currently on second phase that is 2021 to 2027 and before moving to why erasmus i i want to tell you some more details on it like uh, what happens is a consortium of different uh, universities uh, 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 make a proposal on uh, currently uh, highly demanding subjects and highly demanding uh, 
educational uh, uh, bodies uh, for the Europe and then they, they, uh, they, they uh, took that proposal to the European Union Consortium and then that consortium will decide whether to fund this program or not and then this way the new program will be added and the other programs will be uh, left out. So this is the way and I will tell you uh, this more when uh, we will uh, look for the programs uh, and uh, how to search for a program that suits you. So uh, why Erasmus then? So choosing the Erasmus or why you, 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 why you should be a part of the Erasmus program is that they give the financial aid for students 1400 euro per month which are to cover your uh, living expenses and your travel cost. Uh, so you don't need to pay for the college, they will pay for the college university fee and then they will give you extra every month at 1400 euro to live and to, to travel and other, other expenses. And uh, you will also have the uh, medical exp uh, insurance uh, so that uh, you don't need to pay uh, by yourself uh, as well. And another thing, uh, an interesting and uh, another uh, exciting thing is multicultural experience that uh, in the Erasmus programs, uh, different uh, the students from different uh, multi, multi countries will be uh, uh, presenting there so that you will have uh, experience uh, or uh, exploration with the multicultural experience and another important thing is uh, uh, erasmus programs are not uh, held in a single university it will take you to uh, at least two three uh, or uh, at maximum four universities of different countries uh, uh, across the Europe. So that will uh, lead you to the explore European education in multiple countries and to explore how uh, Europe has been saved its uh, development. And, and there is a ma many more which you only when uh, you uh, get it into it can experience it. Like uh, I cannot <laughs> tell you everything in the world. Yeah, <laughs> you have to experience this. So main thing is the steps. So, uh, talking about the steps, like uh, they, they, there are uh, many videos on uh, YouTube uh, uh, showing about how to get into the uh, Erasmus, but uh, they, they, I think they, there are some lacks on uh, uh, individual steps and uh, sometimes if, if we follow them, uh, then there is a chance that we can get stuck. So, I, uh, I'll try to create a separate video for each, uh, but uh, let's see just, uh, let's, uh, just see the steps on it. First video I will create on uh, searching and sorting the program uh, no matter which, uh, which uh, faculty or which background you belong to there are uh, around 200 programs uh, under the Erasmus Mondes scholarship that you can apply for and get, uh, get uh, selected for. So but uh, that uh, say, by saying that uh, it is not applicable all the, uh, all the programs for you so you have to uh, uh, you have to uh, go through their catalogs and then uh, see their uh, requirements whether uh, their requirements fulfills uh, your uh, present uh, situations or not like your background of study your uh, major course and other things and evaluation criteria uh, go through those evaluation criteria whether uh, you feel that evaluation criteria you can be uh, one uh, fit uh, for the program or not and application start in index uh, is uh, if uh, application um, uh, if the program uh, uh, application start in index so that you will not miss their deadline so that you can apply for as many programs as possible in another important thing when we will be uh, looking for the program is we will see the uh, European Union funding uh, year as well so that uh, whether it will take the new uh, enrollment or not uh, I will make a one video on it then uh, uh, we will uh, be seeing how to apply for the for the for the for the program like uh, signing into the application portal uh, different program may have a different approach to applying uh, them like uh, we will see uh, various programs later but uh, uh, on, on, uh, uh, every program has their own individual website and their own individual way of uh, enrolling into them or applying into them so we will look into it how we can uh, get into the uh, application process of every uh, of every programs not every but i'll show you a uh, mainly way how you can actually go into the application starts process and then uh, there we will see 
we will see most of the um, programs are uh, asking for uh, almost similar type of documents so i will show you uh, how to prepare your documents and uh, some uh, depending on the program and their structure some programs requires you to submit uh, your uh, all the documents before uh, they can call you for the interview or some programs ask you some academic documents and then uh, call for the interview and then uh, requires other documents but i will uh, i have list uh, some of the common documents all the programs have requested so that these are the documents you have to prepare for yourself uh, either they may be required at the uh, start of the application process or they may be required when you get selected for the interview and when you go move forward with your uh, application process and then uh, I will uh, okay I will uh, make a second video on it and then I will uh, make the another video for the call for interview how uh, how uh, uh, what can you expect in the interview what they can ask for you for the interview and then how you can prepare uh, yourself better confident for the interview I will make uh, another video for that and then uh, after the interview only thing remaining is either you get selected or you get rejected there, there is a chance that they, they what they do is they first do the application screening what they call it screening process that means they overly thoroughly uh, uh, evaluate your uh, academic uh, documents and your all the other documents and uh, if you stand to their uh, standard uh, or if you stand to uh, be a best candidate then they will call you for the interview or uh, either uh, you, uh, they can reject here or they can call for interview and if they call for interview then uh, you might uh, be selected or you can be rejected here as well so this is the rejection and this is the rejection and uh, after selection after once you get selected then what are the next steps how you can come here uh, or come come to the come to or how you can actually go to the gate of your uh, university there are lots of courses uh, behind uh, in the in the background you have to do you have to follow i will tell you about this in the another video okay let's uh, jump into the uh, uh, preparing documents section uh, but i will uh, make a, a separate video on that but basically uh, what documents we are requiring uh, in general uh, all the uh, all the programs ask you for the euro pass cv or your cv but uh, based on the euro pass uh, template or euro pass uh, format is was what they uh, prefer another uh, main important document is that proof of residence residential registration form this is what i was stocked at that time and i will uh, create another um, uh, video on every of those uh, uh, how to prepare your uh, euro pass cv how what is this proof of residence and how can you get it so that uh, we will discuss it uh, more detail in that video and another thing is official proof from the students university that they are in the top 10 uh, percent of their class this is not always mandatory this is not always mandatory but they uh, they they recommend this sometimes so if you uh, if you be, uh, if you uh, are in the 10 percent of the uh, of your class then uh, how uh, you can request this document from your uh, university or college and then you you can present it this is not always mandatory but some programs have mentioned that and if you uh, can provide this this will be your plus point so i will also covering this uh, this uh, on the on the on the another video and motivation later yes this is uh, this is a uh, mandatory for all the programs some programs requires you to write a motivation letter some programs may require you to ask for the motivation video but uh, the idea is same basic idea is the same so this is uh, this is uh, what carries your uh, almost 20 percent of your max for your selection academics uh, depending on the program it is also different uh, we will see the different programs but uh, motivation letter carries your most of the max and that that is very very important uh, and i will uh, show you my motivation letter and how to write a motivation letter good motivation letter uh, i don't know um, whether my uh, motivation letter is good or bad but what i consider uh, uh, all good motivation letter should include i will i'll uh, discuss that in, in a separate video so this one will be 4.1 and this is very very important and other are the recommendation letter you can ask recommendation letter uh, from your um, 
कॉलेज और द प्लेस वेर यू आर करेंटली वर्किंग एट लिस्ट टू रिकमेंडेशन लेटर्स आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड एट मैक्स और इफ यू कैन प्रोवाइड थ्री देन दैट वुड बी बेटर एंड अनदर इज अ प्रूफ ऑफ प्रोफिशेंसी इन इंग्लिश दिस इज सम दिस डॉक्यूमेंट दैट इज द रिज टेस्ट रिजल्ट ऑफ योर आईल्स और एनी अदर लाइक टू फिल वट एवर योर प्रोग्राम्स एक्सेप्ट यू हैव टू चेक ऑन योर प्रोग्राम्स वेबसाइट आई विल सो यू हैव टू चेक दैट दिस आई एम नट गोइंग टू मेक अ भिडियो अन इट आई हेव अलरेडी मेड अ भिडियो अन हाउ कंप्यूटर बेस्ड आयल्स टेस्ट रिव्यू यू कैन सी इन द आई बटन सो प्रूफ अफ प्रोफिशे प्रोफिशेंस इंग्लिश आई स्ट्रंगली सजेस्ट यू टू टेक आयल्स एक्जाम एज सुन एज पॉसिबल इफ यू आर प्लांग टू अप्लाई फर इरासमस मंडस और एनी अदर फरेन प्रोग्राम्स बिकज सम प्रोग्राम्स रिक्वायर्स इट ड्यूरिंग योर एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस और सम प्रोग्राम्स रिक्वायर्स इट आफ्टर यू गेट सिलेक्टेड फर द इंटरव्यू एंड देन फाइ फाइनली सिलेक्टेड यू कैन सबमिट योर इंग्लिश प्रोफिशेंस रिजल्ट हियर एज वेल सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द प्रोग्राम इट इट डिपेंड्स सो नट टू नट टू बी लिमिटेड ऑन ऑन द ऑन द नंबर अफ प्रोग्राम्स यू कैन अप्लाई आई सजेस्ट यू टू गिव आयल्स और एनी एनी इंग्लिश प्रोफिशेंसी टेस्ट फर्स्ट सो दैट यू हैव दी यू हैव द अनलिमिटेड पोटेन्सिल टू टू अप्लाई फर एनी एनी प्रोग्राम्स राइट सो सो यू यू डोट नीड टू बी रेस्ट्रिक्टेड बाई देयर देयर लिमिटेशन और क्राइटेरिया दैट यू हैव टू प्रेजेंट योर आयल्स टेस्ट बिफोर द कॉल फर इंटरव्यू सो दिस इज दिस इज समथिंग आई स्ट्रंगली रिकमेंड यू एंड फर प्रिपेयरिंग डॉक्यूमेंट्स वील सी डिफ्रेंट इन इन अ डिफरेंट सेपरेट भिडियोज दिस इज द वेबसाइट वेर यू कैन क्रिएट आवर यूरो पास सेवे and proof of residency residential registration and uh, proof of uh, office um, bo these both uh, documents we can get it from the college college or you can also ask this document from the uh, your uh, municipality or uh, your uh, rural municipality office but uh, one uh, drawback is that uh, they provide this in the uh, nepali language so you have to translate it in uh, in either uh, english or in uh, Uh, in the in the in the uh, english language so better would be uh, to get it from the college and we will uh, especially focus on the motivation later and uh, here are some programs i have listed for the computer science students but we will uh, see how to search a program that suits your uh, field of study uh, whether you study agriculture forestry Uh, business or anything uh, history or uh, linguistic or anything we uh, i will show you uh, how to search for a program and how to uh, list out how to collect uh, the different programs that you can apply for and that's it uh, for the uh, introduction of the rasmus mondas uh, uh, i will create a separate video for each and every uh, steps i described here so that you will have a thorough guide on it so thank you so much for watching this video i will uh, i hope uh, you get some uh, more information about the rasmus mondas through this video uh, like uh, please uh, do like subscribe and share this video to your friends so that they can also apply and you both can come to here thank you so much